rivers have currents, not so. Um, but the safety factor is they say you need to have at least two inches of ice. I don't go out on the lake unless there's three inches of ice. Earthlink. 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 That is so ancient. Yeah, I mean, you should. Well, but the good thing about Earthlink is that it's. Yeah, it's you're so the only one there, so you have no problem. <laughs> right, you know, so they don't bother that. Nobody tries to hack it. That, that's the beauty part of it. There are only eight of us online. Uh, but make sure you get his good side if we can find it. <laughs> there isn't that's any. from the pack. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Right. Right. Hmm? Still the best clothing that you can wear in the woods. Yes. And that one was reversible. So it blazed on the inside. I'm Don Godwin. Arthur Kutcher. I am the executive range officer, archery range officer at Metropolitan Rod and Gun Company uh, Club. Member for over 35 years. Presently the junior chairperson. I served as president, vice president, recording secretary. If I get dressed up, I might actually shoot <laughs> someone. I was going to say, hey, mister, do you shoot both? I originally grew up in Canada, and I was introduced to shooting sports when I was about eight years old with my uncle. My interest in, in hunting started when I was young with my grandfather. I was about 12 years old when I first... He first taught me how to shoot uh, rifles and bows. These are basically what they call compound bows because they have all wheels and mechanics on them. Uh, we start most of, the, of our juniors on what they call traditional stick bows. hunt for what I'm going to eat. I don't trophy hunt. Uh, I could eat venison 12 months a year if I have it. When I get, I got married and I had my family and work and life just got in the middle of everything. Then about 30 years ago when my sister married this uh, gentleman named Adrian uh, who was a very avid hunter and shooter. Uh, actually this uh, quiver here that I have for my arrows was from one of the deers that him and his father shot and tanned the skins. Actively competed in archery until I was about 30 years old, which is when I decided I had just wanted to play and not worry about what my scores were. First is you knock your bow, you put the arrow onto your string, and we always stress that it's very important that you hear a little click, and we draw back and we touch our lip over here this way. This because the in archery everything is consistency. You do the same thing every time, all the time. You can't collapse them. Now, if your elbow is out over here where it's not supposed to be, push. See how he falls in? No structure. You get to here. You relax your fingers, or on these bows, we use a mechanical device. This clips onto the string, and that'll draw. Now you come to your anchor point. You'll either hit this little button, or in traditional archery, you relax your fingers, and the arrow goes forward, and hopefully hits where you want it to shoot. I've seen guys drive out ATVs and UTVs on when it was two inches plus of ice. And then have so many have guys having to go up with ropes to pull them because they went through the ice. The reasons I like archery so much is because it quiets my head. I I love hunting. I love being outdoor outdoors in the woods. Yeah, they come. They surely come. Yeah, it's um, okay. Yeah, it calms you down. It relaxes you. And it's just a hell of a lot of fun. And it's all good people. Camaraderie was what made it worthwhile. Half the fun. More than half the fun. You guys just going to sit there all day? You yeah, know. this is pretty comfortable. Yeah, I took the... I, took the, the I know, you're all trip. tucked it out from the ladder and the lock and everything. Just watching you you're work all, was you enough. You all guys need to... Well, one of you can get the bench, the other one can go on the <laughs> table. Roll your jackets See, then up. I put this on, so uh, I'm, I'm tuckered <laughs> out now. That was it. <laughs> I've been watching her slip this tripod around with the camera and getting tired. 